This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Comet C2013 R1 Love Joy. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a brand new hyperbolic comet. As I stated, C2013 R1 Love Joy. And this comet shares the same quality that to me made Elenin very special, made Ison very special, and makes this comet very special, which is the fact we have no idea where it originated from. And apparently it originated from an extra solar system, which is a solar system, solar system, solar system outside of our solar system. Its origin was a trillion miles away. It's not necessarily getting that close to Earth. Um, haven't been any reports that it was super dusty or nothing, but it, it will be, I think, at perihelion on Christmas Day. So it's interesting that all these comets seem to line up with some of the holidays. Kismet coincidence. I love you both. And dang, this is definitely the year of the comet. It looks like this winter's skies are going to be filled with comets. And you gotta wonder, a buddy of mine, Dr. Astro Mutt, some people do not like him, mentioned that he thought that Ison had been disturbed eons ago by a star that was passing by our solar system on the outskirts. And so maybe eons ago as this star passed by, it disrupted an entire array of comets which are now flying in but definitely comets are up meteors are up meteorites are up fireballs are up and comets of unknown origin are way up i believe before elenin there were zero i think this puts us at three there may be a few that i've missed lately i've been busy anyway i just wanted to point out this comet because i'm sure it will tie in with a video i'm gonna make in the future anyway this one's light simple and easy once again our buddies at the universe today new comet discovered Lovejoy will add to Comet lineup. Comet lineup in wintry skies. 2013 is definitely the most comet delicious year of all time. Good to know. I think it's cool that it's coming out of Orion. Orion is my favorite solar constellation or grouping or gathering, whatever the hell he is. Move over Comet Ison. You've got company. I didn't say that. They did. That sounds kind of dumb. The guy who discovered it, Terry Lovejoy. He's a very prolific comet discoverer. So this is his fourth one total. And so we now have three comets that will grace the early November skies in the northern hemisphere. Ison, Yankee, and Lovejoy. And save room on the shelf for more because I have a feeling more comets will be showing up. And I have noticed comet C2013R1 Lovejoy is traveling pretty fast. The discovery of C2013R1 Lovejoy was announced on September 9th after two nights of photographic observations by Lovejoy within 8-inch Schmidt case grain reflector. When nabbed, the comet was a faint midge of 14.5 magnitude crossing the border where Orion, in between the border of Orion and Monoceros. Subsequent observations by other astronomers peg it a bit brighter than 14.0 with a small condensed coma. Oh, it's not Nibiru. Hopefully NASA will write an article letting us know that this is not Nibiru. Or maybe they can just copy and paste their articles from Elenin and Ison that it is not Nibiru. Hey, and as it, as it says here, at its closest approach on November 23rd, Lovejoy will pass 38.1 million miles from Earth while sailing across the Big Dipper at a quick pace. Yeah, if we look at the orbital, Lovejoy is flying going fast. I guess some comets just have much stronger engines than the other ones. You should be able to see this comet with a small telescope when it gets bright, but I don't think it's going to be as bright as the moon, and it might not even be a uh, comet you can see with the naked eye. Put a bra on her. All right, that wraps it up from Dr. Strange Lovejoy, and I gotta ask, what's Lovejoy got to do, got to do with it? What's Lovejoy but a super Duper new comet. Oh wow, those were bad. You were probably kicking my voodoo doll and throwing it to the dog right now. Will you ever forgive me? All right, but you're gonna have to answer the Coca-Cola Corporation when this war is over. Peace out. Give me some slack, dude. I just worked a million hours over 12 straight days. Just got a little bit of breathing room. It's gonna take me a second to get back in the groove. Anyway, simple, easy. We are not done. You're the comet, for sure. These comets are too comedy-licious for you, baby. Double peace out.